Okay, okay viewers, it's Wednesday morning and I'm just on the outside of the old Cascade Brewery. The famous uh, Cascade Brewery with its nice uh, Georgian era architecture. And the uh, date says on it 1824 927. So I'd say the building probably was erected around 1824. It looks to be made of around that era. Then again, buildings from the early 19th century and mid 19th century kind of look the same. But anyway, yeah, I'm just dropping by here to take some photos and um, yeah, I'm going to move then move on to the uh, the old shot tower and then later on catch up with my mate from Sydney who recently moved down to Kingston. Anyway. So there you have it, the Cascade Brewery. I'm trying to find a decent spot to take some photos. I kind of wanted to get the surrounding buildings, but if I move across the road, that bloody lamp post will, be, will pretty much photobomb the shot, obstruct the view. So I think this is probably the best place I can photograph the facade of the main old uh, brewery building at least. Alright, see you in the next video. Okay viewers, I'm across the road at a bit of vantage point of the Cascade Brewery. Um, yeah, as you can see the lamp posts pretty much photobombs the shop, which I'm not happy about. But it's tolerable You have it positioned in a certain area. This is for my photography by the way. But anyway, yeah, um, so you can see more of the, of the brewery and the uh, buildings to the sides. And up in the distance you've got the uh, silos here. Alrighty, going to take a couple more shots and then I'm going to head off to the uh, shot tower that's on the way to Kingston. See you in the next video. Okay viewers, thought I'd swing by Rest Point Casino, the famous, the famous uh, polygon round looking building of Hobart and the very first uh, casino in Australia. At least I believe, at least that's what I read up, I think that's right. But yeah, it was erected in 1971 and yeah, it's the first, I think it was the first casino in Australia. Anyway, yeah, nice old uh, 70s architecture. I think, I don't know if it's called Brutalus or something, Brutalus architecture. But anyway, an iconic building of Hobart all the same. And I thought I'd swing by and take a few digital and film photos of it. Let's go zoom right in on it. Hey out. So yeah, I'm just going to take a few photos around here and then head off to the shot tower and then off to Kingston Beach to catch up with my mate. And uh, yeah, got a lot of boats down here in the harbour. Quite a nice morning it is. I think that today is going to be the last day of good weather before it turns to shit again and we've got some days of rain happening. Alright, hey yeah, out, enough talking, I'm going to take some photos and then head off to the shot tower. See you there. Okay viewers, here I am at the famous shot tower in southern Hobart. I've forgotten what the name of the suburb is here, but anyway, there's a shot tower. The shot tower was used to make uh, ammunition with a mix of uh, hot lead, arsenic and atinomy, I think that's how it's pronounced. Anyhow, um, I've forgotten the exact mechanics of how, how they were made. Uh, 
but I'm thinking it's like hot lead was dropped from the top there right down to the bottom in, and uh, forms into pellets or something like that those of, those of you on the video can correct me if I'm wrong but anyway but anyway this is definitely a a must see landmark in southern Hobart Okay, I'm going to take some photos and then head off to Kingston Beach. See you there. Okay viewers, still at the Shot Tower. Just done all my photography. Now, here's a view of the Shot Tower from, from a closer vantage point. You can see the actual, the actual uh, workshop building beside it. And of course the tower itself. Yeah, I say there is uh, there is railing up there. Um, makes me wonder if you can actually if you, if you can actually uh, go up to the top of the tower in a from a stairwell or an elevator or something. I don't know. Um, I haven't read the details on what we can do on the uh, shot tower tour, but if that's the case, and that'd be pretty cool. To go up to the top, <laughs> but uh, I bet you can't. <laughs> anyway, yeah, there's also. Uh, Another historical building right beside over there. Okay, viewers, here you are, time to move on, catch up with my mate down at Kingston Beach. See you in the next video. Okay, viewers, I'm now at Kingston Beach at the beach. Yeah, bit of an overcast, but otherwise nice day. What a nice area to live. Yeah, I'm going to catch up with my mates very shortly. In the meantime, I'm just going to snap a few photos and yeah, have a bit of a look around. So up in the distance, we have an island, um, which looks like it has a lighthouse on top. Got some headland there, another township there. The mountain range there. Alrighty, well anyway, see you in the next video. Okay viewers, I'm on my way back from Hobart, back up to the northern coast of Tassie, back to Turner's Beach. Anyhow, um, yeah, thought I'd drop by Richmond on the way and uh, See its famous uh, old bridge, Richmond Bridge, which was built in 1823 and uh, it is the oldest functional bridge in Australia, probably literally the oldest surviving bridge in Australia. Yeah, this looks like it's built of uh, sandstone. It was built by convicts obviously. Yeah, it's a very, very sound structure. It's held up very, very nicely over the over the almost 200 year period. And a very beautiful old structure from the bygone uh, colonial era. And yeah, yeah, Richmond's a very historical town, 
pretty much uh, came to prominence in 1824. And there's a lot of um, colonial era buildings around Richmond, which I'll be photographing. And of course, I will photograph the uh, Richmond Bridge on some of my old film stocks. Yeah, anyway, lovely spot to drop by. Laying around here for a little while. I may or may not go to Bothwell, depends on how far, far of a drive it is from Richmond. But yeah, I'm, it's past two o'clock in the Arvo and I kind of want to get back to uh, Turner's Beach before, before say, eight o'clock at night. All right. Anyway, see you in the next video. Okay, viewers, here I am at uh, the Richmond Jail. Yeah, one of the uh, attractions of Richmond and... Yeah, twelve dollars entry, and you can tour the place and see it for its uh, what it is. Anyhow, yeah, I'm gonna yeah look around, check out what's in this uh, prison, and yeah, see you in the next video. Okay, viewers. I've left uh, Richmond and I'm on my way back to Turner's Beach which is probably a good two and a half hours away. I'm pretty much uh, on the way to the Oaklands at the moment, um, en route. Yeah, anyway, I thought I'd stop by, photograph those gorgeous clouds in the distance. Alrighty, it's just a quick video, I'm getting a bit cold now. I'm going to get in the car after I stop. But yeah. See you in the next video, which will either be probably on the way back or when I or tomorrow somewhere. All right. Okay, viewers. It's five past seven, and I'm back in Deloraine after a good few hours of driving. Yeah, it's, what a trip it's been to Hobart. Had a lot of fun. Caught up with a mate. Saw a number of attractions down that way great times. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go to the pub up there and have a bit of a feed and a beer and then I'll head back to Dad's at Turner's Beach. Hey, yeah, it's a bit, this, this is officially my last video for the night, so yeah, see you tomorrow. Okay viewers, it's Thursday 12th of May and I'm on my way to Cradle Mountain, Dove Lake, where I can see Cradle Mountain. Not the best weather though, but at least it ain't pissing down rain. Anyhow, I'm in a historical town called Wilmot, which is pretty much on the way there. Yeah, just stop by to fill up and yeah, nature calls. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, yeah, not a bad little town. Yeah, some houses scattered around here and there. Nice old church. Alrighty, well, anyway, going to be on my way and yeah, see you in the next video. Okay viewers, I'm now at the uh, Cradle Mountain uh, Visitor Centre, going to catch a shuttle bus down to Dove Lake. Yeah, I'm not really impressed with the weather today, it's pretty shitty. Uh, yeah, what's worrying me is... Um, the uh, mountain peaks might be covered in fog, which will really ruin ruin things photographically, and I won't be able to get a decent photo of the peaks. Yeah, uh, anyway, I can only make do. I mean, this is probably one of the better days of when it comes to weather over the next coming weeks. We're getting we're going to be getting a lot of showers and the like. It's already sprinkling rain on and off. Yeah, uh, anyway, I can only make the best of it. But anyway, yeah, going to head off the visitor centre now, get some shuttle bus tickets and yeah, get on the shuttle down to Dove Lake. See you there. Okay viewers, here I am at Dove Lake where I'm supposed to see Cradle Mountain but to my expected dis unfortunate disappointment, it's all covered in fog. As a matter of fact, I'm absolutely sorely disappointed that 
that I absolutely cannot see Cradle Mountain at all. Anyway, there's no over the next week there's actually no better day to come up here than today anyhow. So I'm just gonna have to make the best of it and yeah, there's plenty of plenty of uh, good scenic shots to take photos of and the like. So yeah, I'll just make the best of it. Maybe, maybe with a bit of luck the fog might lift as the day rolls on, but I highly doubt it. Alright. Let's give you a little bit of a zoom in. Okay, well, the weather's only a bit on the drizzly side, so at least that's at least it's not too bad in that respect. If it was pissing down rain, I'd be incredibly unhappy. All right, I am. I'm just gonna yeah, do some photos, maybe walk some of the tracks. Spend a, I'll probably spend at least a couple of hours here and and hope and pray that the fog might lift and I can see the uh, Cradle Mountain Peaks but yeah I don't expect it's going to lift but uh, we'll see anyway see you in the next video okay viewers here we are at the uh, old boat shed at Dove Lake one of the attractions here and yeah through the fog we can see one of the uh, mountain peaks which is something better than nothing fog still hasn't lifted around Cradle Mountain which you, which sucks but what can we do no, I'm going to be here as I said I'm going to be around here for a couple of hours so it might be a miracle it might the fog might eventually lift all right anyway there's the boat shed oh by the way I tried doing some infrared photography hoping that the infrared camera would cut through the fog but no luck there but it does cut through smoke though anyway there's a boat shed there's a mountain peak there yeah quite a nice area this is all right I'm gonna stop camera before my camera gets too wet See you in the next video. Okay viewers, I'm now on top of Glacier Rock, which is probably elevated by about maybe 50 metres perhaps from the lake. Anyhow, um, got a nice spectacular view of uh, Dove Lake. Yeah, it's a pity this goddamn bloody fog ain't lifting. I really want to see the Cradle Mountain Peaks, but yeah. It looked like it was, it was starting to lift, but then it just fogged over again. That was a real tease. But anyway, all the same, um, if, uh, despite the disappointment of not seeing uh, Cradle Mountain, um, the fog really does add to, add to the atmosphere of, of this lake on, on a, on, in weather like this. So I can still make, do some spectacular photography and uh, yeah get some uh, dramatic sort of pictures the contrast of the mountains is really good it's not all hazy or anything apart from where it's foggy but yeah no I've got some nice contrast yeah I'm probably going to stick around here till about 4 4 30 something like that because I really want to see the fog lift and uh, reveal Cradle Mountain uh, but anyway I don't expect that's going to happen but I might get lucky anyway got that tiny little island if you want to call it that there <laughs> got the uh, old boat shed down below here We've got the uh, main base where the shuttle buses stop. That's gonna, that building's still under construction, but I think it's gonna. I think it could possibly be a 
going to, going to be a some kind of um, some kind of um, yeah uh, accommodation resort, or at least be some kind of restaurant lookout visitor centre sort of thing. I don't really know, but yeah, it's under construction at the moment. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a walking circuit that goes around Dove Lake, which takes about two to three hours to complete. At the rate I'm going with my photography, it'll probably take me about four hours. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do the full circuit or not, but we'll see. Alrighty. Well, anyway, I'm going to snap a lot of photos up here and then move on somewhere. I might try and do the circuit, but I don't know. Anyway, see you in the next video. Okay viewers, I'm afraid the weather here has just gotten even worse. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that the fog might lift as time goes on, but instead it's just it's gotten even worse because it's now gotten hazy and uh, yeah, the, just the, whole, the whole area is just all hazy now and there's no way I'm going to get some very good shots. This is this has just gotten worse and I'm, abs I'm absolutely pretty depressed about this. Yeah, I'm depressed and actually pissed off. But yeah, well, anyway, uh, I'm not exactly going to give up just yet. I'm going to just go for a walk for maybe half an hour, an hour. And then walk back and if the weather hasn't improved just catch the shuttle back and go on my way back home or back to dad should I say. But yeah. Just hate it when I just hate it when the weather does this. But yeah, the weather's not gonna be any better over the next week, so probably pick the best day to come here. For what it's worth, I've got some decent shots. Anyhow drizzling right now and my camera's getting wet so I'm going to stop the video, go for a walk up that way, walk back and see what happens. Alright, see you in the next video. Okay viewers, just spotted me a wombat. It's a bit hard to see. <laughs> well it is hard to see because it's moved along. I might try and move slowly so I don't scare it. There it goes. Pity I can't get a good shot of it. It's in amongst that bush there. Yeah, that's the second one battle spotted today. This wasn't quick enough to whip out my camera to capture them both. This one bat was literally on the trail. Um, let's see if we can actually see if it crosses by this way so I can get a better view of it. There it goes. Still obstructed by trees, but it's about the best I can do. Well, anyway. Just uh, going for a walk along the trail for a little while and just mentally hoping and praying that the fog will miraculously lift, which I highly doubt it will. Found that the last shuttle bus leaves at 4.30, so definitely won't be able to complete the circuit. But yeah, I'll just probably go up a little bit and then go back and try and get back to the bus depot probably about 20 minutes before the bus leaves. Alright, see you in the next video. Okay viewers, I'm probably about halfway down Dove Lake. Got a nice view. There's Cradle Mountain, still under fog to my disgust. But yeah, uh, nothing much I can do. And I have to say the fog looks quite Photographic wise, the fog looks quite interesting on that um, mountain there. So, yeah, I can get some interesting photos all the same. 
Uh, anyway, I'm not going to go any further than this. I'm going to head on back, allow enough time to catch a shuttle bus back to the main base. Alright. This weather's not letting up at all. Still hazy, still drizzly. Uh, it's becoming a real drag. Uh, check this out. Check out the uh, bark on this tree. Uh, I'm going to have to put the camera away because the drizzle's starting to become more intense and the camera's getting wet. See you in the next video. Okay viewers, miraculously the weather has improved a little bit. So it's no longer hazy around the lake, at least that's something. Although it's still drizzly and Cradle Mountain's still covered in fog. But, I don't know, gives me some inkling of hope that maybe it might lift towards the end of the day. I'm going to stick around probably till about four-ish and see how things work out. Anyway, got a nice view of boat shed down there. All that scrub over there. The mountains. Alright, got some rain droplets on the lens as you can see. I'm just going to put this camera away. It's only a very slight drizzle, not too bad, but yeah, I'll just finish up the video now and uh, yeah, I'm just taking a few film shots and I'm going to head back to the main area where I started and just hang around there for a while and yeah, hopefully the fog might actually lift. Starting to see a little bit of sun trying to come out. The fog actually is looking like it's lifting a little bit at the mountain, but I don't know, I'm not going to hold out my hope too much. Alright, time to finish the video for now, see you in the next one. Okay viewers, I've had enough. I'm going to catch the next shuttle bus back to the base. Yeah, the fog just is not letting up and no way I'm going to see Cradle Mountain today, so yeah, whatever. Anyway, at least I've got a few Got some good shots in while the weather wasn't so bad. Not of Cradle Mountain, but of the surrounding uh, mountains and, and landscape and the lake and all that. So it wasn't a total loss. And I had a good walk and got a fair bit of exercise. Anyhow, the rain is pretty much a lot more intense now, so I'm not prepared to hang out in this and you know, find somewhere to shelter before the next shuttle bus comes. Alrighty, see you in the next video wherever I land at. Okay viewers, I was going to pack it in and take the next shuttle bus, but things are starting to look a little bit up now. Um, yeah, I'm not sure to what extent, but the fog was starting to lift from Cradle Mountain. But I don't know. Um, it is, but it isn't. You can see a little bit, a little bit more of the mountain, but not to the extent that I like. But I think it's worth the while to stick around here just for a little while longer, and while the weather's not up to shit, and yeah, get a few shots in, and with a little bit of luck, the fog might actually just lift. Well, it seems to be quite all right at the moment. The fog's definitely lifted from that mountain there. It's a bit, it's pretty bunched up on that mountain over there. Crow, that side of the left peak was starting to show up as I decided to walk down here, but it's kind of fogged itself back up again. Yeah, I don't know. Bit of a tease. But to be quite honest, um, despite the disappointment, um, the contrast is actually quite nice at the moment, which is which makes for great photography. 
on a cloud day, on a cloudy day you can get very nice contrasty uh, contrasty pictures and the mountain the mountains can look very very uh, contrasty so yeah it's not all bad oh, I'll stick around here for a little while longer I don't want to miss the last shuttle bus and yeah I'll just chill out and maybe with a bit of luck the peep the peaks might actually show up yet all right see you in the next video Alrighty viewers, yeah the fog's definitely lifted um, from one of the peaks so things are starting to really look up now. Yeah there hasn't been any drizzle for probably about at least 20 minutes. Yeah the fog's actually, is actually starting to clear. I still wouldn't hold out hope that the, that the right side peak will, will um, become visible but you never know. Still got another, I don't know, three quarters of an hour yet. So here's my chance to get to, to hopefully get a shot of both of the peaks should the fog lift off the right side peak. Yeah, just taking shots while I can, while the weather is as decent as it is. All right. Well, anyway, let's just get a bit of a zoomer in of the left peak. That's the right peak still covered in fog. But yeah, check a, check out the uh, the redness on that peak there. I don't know if it's the vegetation, or if it's the rock itself, or if it's moss. It's probably yeah, it's probably vegetation. I think I should wipe the lens down because it is a bit dotted with from the water droplets. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, going to make the most of it while the weather is as decent as it is and get some photos in. See you in the next video. Okay viewers, yeah, um, I've left uh, Cradle Mountain now. Didn't turn out to be a totally disappointing day. I was disappointed when I couldn't see the uh, both peaks, but at least I got to see one of them and um, and the contrast was really nice. So I got a lot of good photos despite, despite the weather. But anyhow, um, yeah, I'm now at one of the lookout points. I was hoping to get a view of uh, Mount Roland, but it didn't quite work out that way. But anyway, got a nice foggy view of the river down there. You can just make out, I can just make out the moon. And I'm currently doing a long exposure of, of the scene where on some vintage Kodakala film in my old camera. Anyhow, um, yeah, just going to take a few photos and then head off. Saw a spectacular view, view of Mount Roland with the, with the afternoon sun on it and couldn't, couldn't find anywhere to stop to get a decent photo, which was disappointing. But anyway, what can you do? Alright, time to finish this long exposure. Going to head off down towards Sheffield. Hopefully, I might get some decent view of Mount Roland when I'm down that way. Hopefully, the sun is still shining on it. If not, photo opportunity lost. All right. See you in the next video. Okay, viewers, on my way to Sheffield, and uh, yeah, this uh, bus converted to a Titanic boat caught my attention <laughs> yeah oh, people are pretty artistic down here in Tassie yeah this is uh yeah this is quite amazing so yeah it's a boat it's a bus converted to a model bus Titanic boat <laughs> or boat bus whether it drives or not I don't know but it's a sight to see Anyway, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if, at all if this uh, bus used to be our our school bus, the Mole Creek School. So we had we we went in buses like this, uh, most likely not, but you never know. Anyway, yeah. Speaking of art, 
Yeah, on the way to Cradle Mountain, there was plenty of artistic mailboxes, including a dialect mailbox, and yeah, there was a lot of different artistic mailboxes. It was kind of a trend that that uh, residents along the road pretty much make artistic mailboxes. All right, anyway, enough of that said. Yeah, it's a bit late for filming Mount Roland. Um, yeah, the sun's gone down, so bugger. All righty. I'm going to, yeah, probably head to one of the pubs at Sheffield and have a feed and a beer and then head off to Dad's. See you in the next video. Okay, viewers. I just had to make a stop because i um, got a nice, beautiful, cloud-covered view of Mount Roland. I'm on my way to Sheffield now. Um, yeah, just saw that it's just a smidgen of uh, sunset light left on Mount Roland and yeah i am just done some long exposures on my digital camera here to capture Mount Roland. How cool is that? I might even go as far as shoot some film if I feel up to it if it doesn't require several minutes of exposure. Anyway yeah This is what this is um, what I love about photographing mountains when they got when you got some sun on it, you got some clouds on it, you got a nice dramatic look, and you, which makes for a great photo. Alrighty, see you in the next video.